Welcome back. I'm your Hub City TV co-host, Bradney Payne. One local musician inspired by the music of the Beatles sings with a local record label. My name is Steve McDonald. I'm Mucho Mungo and I'm from Picayune, Mississippi. Definitely once I graduated high school and I was like thrown into the, the college flames almost, you know, of having to figure out, you know, what seemingly felt like very, you know, quick. You know, it seemed like, all right, you need to know what you're doing right now. And trying different things out and not feeling like I really fit into any of them. And it was kind of like, well, what, what do you have? And it's like, well, I've got these, you know, this, this want to play music and to share with people this and to meet other people that play music. I was probably, I guess, about 10 or 11, maybe earlier than that, through church. And uh, actually, yeah, through church choirs and school choir and that sort of thing. And only started doing it through music, like bands and stuff like that, uh, probably 10th grade, so about 2000. You just sit down, or I sit down, I guess. And when I'm writing them, I just, uh, you know, some, you know, you're just playing through chords and uh, chord changes will come into my head and I'll be like, that's good. And so I'll play through them and then words will start coming together and it's like, hey, okay, that fits and that sounds good there. And then after a while, you've got a song with lyrics and hopefully it makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense, then it'll make sense later, so. I had heard him before. Um, he has a couple songs on MySpace and Facebook, and I had heard him there, and those were tracks that he had done himself, and those sounded really good. And so I knew that I liked him before he played at Collegium, but whenever he played at Collegium, you just kind of know that that live performance is what's going to be his, uh, what's going to be the big deal for him, because he's really good live, and he really brings in the audience when he plays. The artist, Mucho Mungo, I am actually his engineer, so I'm working with him, recording his project and everything, so we're doing tracking right now. Steve is doing really well. He's excellent with the click tracks, so things are moving rather smoothly, and uh, so it's going pretty well so far. I think that he fits into the spotlight level just because, I mean, he's, he sings and he writes songs, but he's also just like the one-man band. I mean, that's pretty much the epitome of the singer-songwriter label. It's real, you don't hear many artists like him, and so it's, uh, it's good to hear something different, you know. My favorite song right now uh, would probably be When It's Over. I wrote that one not that long ago, and I like that one because it's got a lot of energy to it, and it's not as a lot of my other songs seem to sound like they're kind of downtrodden almost to me in a way, to me. And it's not as surreal as, as, as I kind of get from some other ones too. And it's just kind of like a, I think it encompasses a lot of why I'm writing or what's coming out of me, which is, it's like living in this small egg, I guess, is what I felt like for a long time. And being kept in this, and this is like, this is the way it is, and this is the way life is, and well, why are things like this? It's like this, and it's just kind of, I don't know, it doesn't say all of those things, but to me, that's the emotion that I give out, and it is kind of like, this is who I am. It's very just loud and bam, and plus I get to play harmonica on it, and it sounds like I'm doing something way more than what I'm doing. you're doing something that's making you happy and it makes you feel like you are a worthwhile person, it doesn't matter if someone else says that it isn't or that it's not worth doing because, you know, you'll, you'll find that it is, you know, sooner or later. And I'd say for, for other artists, I mean, I haven't done that much at all yet, but I would say that, again, be true to yourself and don't just write something because you feel like that's what's going to make you famous, you know because you may end up, in the end, you may end up famous and you may not like who, the, who you constructed for yourself, you know, just like human beings who we are. I think if you decide that you want to be one kind of person and you really strive to be that, and more of a concrete idea, I guess. Uh, really though, just the, you know, be We'll be back with the Hub Stumper 